local clothing company is working to restock after it says a water main break wiped out all of their inventory, causing hundreds of thousands of dollars in damage. Eddie Dowd has a look inside their battered warehouse. This was the scene staff at Cookies Clothing Company found just before 9 p.m. Friday night at the Coco Marina Center. Water pouring out of the company's warehouse. I was laying on the couch with my two-year-old about to go to sleep and I got a phone call. Owner Cookie Springmeyer was in Kona when she found out there was a water main break in Building A of the marina where her warehouse is located. And she was just screaming, saying, our nail salon is flooded and your warehouse is flooded and there's three feet of water. Two days later, Cookie was able to see the damage firsthand. So this is how high the water came. It would have been a lot higher, but luckily one of our windows broke and so all the water was able to rush out into the street, into the parking lot. You can see the mud is still on this floor and removing it is just one of the steps in this cleanup process. Total devastation, totally defeated. She and says that water damage completely wiped out her inventory. And that was about a quarter million dollars worth of clothes. We had just gotten a huge shipment a couple days earlier. Cookie says she's now working with insurance adjusters to make a claim for the damage. Meanwhile, she is working to move her warehouse to a different location at the marina. For this location, it's shot, it's done. Now we have to find a new home. Coco Marina management told us Friday's water main break is under investigation and could not comment further, but says at this time, a nail salon is the only business currently closed. You can see that the ceiling came down. All of our light fixtures came down. Cookie says the clothing in the flooded warehouse supplies six of her stores on Oahu. It takes a long time to buy everything with the vendors, get it shipped from Los Angeles. It takes like a month. But Cookie says material things can and will eventually get replaced and is grateful for the outpouring of support she has received from the community. We'll get through this. You know, it's uh, the flood of 23, we'll remember it, but we'll, we'll try and find some silver lining to all of the situation. Eddie Dowd, Hawaii News Now.